Hi, welcome to Bearded Meeple. Today, we're going to take a look at a card game with a unique spin on set collecting, because when it comes to scoring, you'll take the value on a particular card and multiply it by the number of the same type of cards in the scrap pile. And the more you have in hand, well, the higher your score will be. It's for two to four players, ages eight plus, and it plays in about 15 minutes. It's brought to us by the Grand Gamers Guild. It's Unreal Estate. Let's take a look at it. In the game, we have two different types of cards. We have building cards with yellow banners valued 1 through 8, and we also have special buildings, and while they have blue banners with no value, they each have a unique ability to affect the game. Let's take a look at setup and then gameplay. From the main deck, you will deal each player two cards. In a two-player game, the scrap pile will consist of four cards. Anytime you're laying cards in the scrap pile, if they're in the same suit, you will stagger them so you can see how many there are. You will then randomly select six special buildings and shuffle them into the main deck. You will then create the proposal board from five cards. We're ready to begin. On a turn, you have three options. Draft a card from the proposal board, play a special building card for its effect, or play building cards to score. When you draft a card from the proposal board, simply select a card and add it to your hand. There's no hand limit. When playing a special building card, simply use its effect when appropriate. To play building cards from your hand to score, you play an entire set. The armory has a value of 5, and there are 2 cards in the scrap pile. 5 times 2 is 10. As I have 2 of the cards, I would now have 20 points. Any cards scored are discarded, and at the end of the round, the proposal board is added to the scrap pile Five new cards are placed out, and a new round begins. Game end is triggered when at the beginning of the round, there are no more cards to place in the proposal board. Each player will have one more turn. The player with the highest points will win. And that, my friends, is Unreal Estate. Certainly an easy game to learn, but what I really like in little games like this is there's still room for strategy. You have to balance between how many sets you think you can get in hand versus the sets you can set up in the scrap pile to multiply and optimize your points. We enjoyed it. I hope you get a chance to check it out. I'll talk to you again soon.